think that selling your n- online and using the money that you make from that translates to any sort of intelligence or skill? I have a degree. Don't change the subject, just answer the fucking question. A degree in what? Philosophy. I could go <laughs> to grad school and become a lawyer if I okay. wanted. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. That's a good point. You could have become a very well-respected lawyer, had a good career. What do you think your kids are going to think when they said, oh, my mom had two options. They could have been a philosopher and a lawyer who made a lot of money, but they decided to be an online for two years. And then when they got ugly, now nobody wants to hire them anymore because they ruined their name and their reputation. Emotional damage. Honey, what is that noise? It's just my seatbelt alarm. How can you ignore something so annoying? Huh? I literally wasn't listening. Y'all always think we talking to multiple women. Bitch, do you have any idea how annoying just you are? It's science. <laughs> He's always telling women, know your worth, know your worth, know your worth. But mm. we act like men aren't supposed to know their worth. And people take issue when a man knows his worth. Men should know their worth just as much as a woman. You have to understand you have value here. You are just as important to this relationship as she is. So just as you need to give to her, she needs to give to you. It's a two-way street. And, and, and I think more importantly, you have to get to a point where you are not afraid if she walks away from you. Yeah, mm-hmm. The reality one. is that men, especially good men, get caught up in the fear of losing her. That they, they do everything in their power to keep her, not realizing that now, rather than losing her, you're losing your. Yeah, so she could be a lawyer if she wanted to, right? Where have I heard this before? Right, yeah. I could be a construction worker if I wanted to. I could be an oil rig worker if I wanted to. I could be a sewage worker if I wanted to. You know, when are they going to find out that this if I wanted to shit doesn't mean a goddamn thing? What matters is what you choose to fucking do. And they choose to do the easier fucking job so they don't get to try and take credit for the tougher ones. Look, anyway, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Happy to have you here. Let's get into it. Welcome to Mankind. Anytime your girl do something good for you, put five dollars in a jar. That's her birthday money. The way her birthday turns out was on her. He is the one. Babe, babe, this weird guy down there said that he'd get me McDonald's if I touch his thingy. What? He said that? Yeah, he said he'd buy me McDonald's if I touch his thingy. Where's he at? He went down that way. What? go fix this out of here. Ha! Gay! Don't cook. I don't clean, but let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. You stop lying on your phone, man. She be lying, she clean. She got this clean. Fiction can be fun. Yeah, this whole independent woman thing is a big fucking con to these people. First, you got Beyonce singing about, you know, empowered single ladies and staying in an unfaithful relationship. And then you got this one. And you're not going to see her doing that in one of her fucking WAP videos, for fuck's sakes. They're all just full of fucking shit because there's no money in talking about how you cook and clean for your man or how much you need your man. And the problem is their hypocrisy is creating an entire generation of low value women. I wrestle good. Is he? Yeah. Are you texting your boyfriend? No. I have 50 million boyfriends. That means you're a hoe. I'm a what? A hoe. A hoe? What's a hoe? Congratulations. You played yourself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how smart are you? Very. How many weeks are in a year? Like 12 times 4. What's that, like 80? Something. 84. 84. What did you expect? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. Dude, not a single thing she said was right. He asked her on a scale from 1 to 10 if you're smart. She said very. And then it just went downhill from there. Jesus. I mean, I can't. I don't understand where she got any of the math for this. Excuse me. Hi. Would you like a sample or new set? No, fuck off. Can't be sidetracked with cheap sex potions city boy city boy okay so i just created this to decide what i'm gonna do tonight see what i get ah. shit 
it's an evil world we live in hey thanks for watching hope you're enjoying the video so far this is just your daily reminder to like comment subscribe ring the bell it all helps it's super fucking easy let's get back to the video i couldn't find the original video so most men think that like thor is like the woman's like ideal man when really it's loki why the fuck you lying why you always lying Right. Loki's Loki. Loki written through a female gaze as, as opposed to Thor. That's, that's men. That's right. Which is ironic because that's a patriarchal standard. Right. Like men have to be big and strong and. So who said that? Men. Not I. <laughs> Not I, she says. So I would assume her fella resembles Loki. Huh, he looks more like Thor. He's about six foot seven, toned in a gym goer. She's upholding the patriarchy. I mean, if you're gonna bash men, at least make sure that your actions match your words. Because essentially what your video is saying is, I can't believe that you're ridiculous for thinking that we do the exact thing that I'm doing. Makes no sense. Come on now. Ah, Drew Afuelo, the misandrist hypocrite influencer. Uh, this is the same woman who gaslights her audience into thinking being overweight is some healthy thing while demonizing men who are fit and muscular. And you see bullshit like this, you see a video like this, and you realize that this fucking bullshit hypocrisy is right on brand for her. <laughs> what the fuck? Run. Do you think that true love exists? True love. Have you ever seen True Love? Have you ever seen Stardust? Like, in Holland we have a saying, like, love goes through the stomach. I love food, man. I love McDonald's. My first date was in the McDonald's. It was a bad day. I want a burger. Yeah, yeah, man. True Love exists. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you crazy. Man, you are one pathetic loser. I almost finished it. Finished? Oh, very nice. You're a victim. <laughs> Perfect! So just gotta measure your rock, measure this. Oh, so that's 250. Oops. 10. Ha! Got it! Why do we do this shit to each other, man? <laughs> Well, other than it's funny. But look, this next clip, it's another one of these things that kind of connects us all. And I thought it was really, it, to me, it's 100% accurate. But let me know in the comments if it holds true for you. Check it out. There is a secret nonverbal cue between guys. If you know a guy and you're trying to acknowledge him guy to guy, you nod up. Yeah. If you don't know a guy, but you're trying to acknowledge his presence, you, hey, yeah. good to see you. Oh, wow, that's so true. Is it true? That's so true. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good to see you. Yeah. When we know someone, we expose our jugular. So this is a very vulnerable part of our body. And we're saying, I know you, I trust you. Look, I'm acknowledging you and yes. I feel trust for you. When you don't know someone, but you want to show respect, you not down to protect your jugular. I don't know you, but I see you. What do you think? It's true, right? And look, anyways, it's something you can kind of be aware of this week. Take notice of it and see if it's true. Uh, it's Tuesday. The week is rolling, so stay strong. But don't forget to enjoy the little thing. My man. <laughs> I'm not dealing with nothing and nobody that'll cost me my peace. My peace is number one priority, and I'm gonna protect my peace at all costs.